Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If these videos are helping you guys in any shape, way, or form, please hit that like button. Today, as you can tell from the header above, we are putting on the headlights on the 2015 F-150. In the previous video, we did the tail lights that my wife got me for my, um, I stated in the video she got for Christmas is actually for my birthday. It was a couple days after Christmas. These headlights are for our anniversary, so she surprised me again, got me a whole bunch of, um, <clears throat> got me headlights for the truck. So today we're actually going to do a how-to on how to install them. Um, I'm going to turn you guys around, see what the headlights look like before, and we're going to get right into the video of actually replacing them with some aftermarket headlights. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so these are the headlights that come with the 2015 F-150 XLT Sport Package. They are clear, clear lenses with a whole bunch of chrome and stuff like that in the back housing. I see a lot of people, they actually pull it apart, put it in the oven. Actually, the adhesive in here comes out. You can pull it apart and they paint the inside. But I decided to just go with the aftermarket smoked headlights. And we'll get into that to a second, uh, the unboxing of the headlights. And then we'll walk right into replacing them. Right here, you have the Akon or Akon headlights purchased off of eBay. That's the box that came in. This is the actual setup that you can see right now. You have DRLs, high lows, you have your blinker. As you notice, if you watched the previous video, the DRLs are the same style as the uh, tail lights. Like I said, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's in the link below. And this is the back side of the headlights. It says it's, it's, it's halogen lights, so they're already uh, pre wired in here already. It's not where you can just change out the bulbs. Um, blinker. You can change that out but we're gonna see how that looks first if i have to go to an led light bulb which probably will later on uh we'll change it out but that's what the headlight looks like let me turn this around see if i can just one-handedly headlights are humongous so yeah they're gonna look pretty good on my truck i believe we'll see when it's all said and done all right let's get into actually replacing them all right so the hood is up First thing you're going to want to do is there's a little plastic push tab right here above the uh, headlight housing bezel. I just want to slide this under there and pop it up. Just like so. I'm going to pop that up. Pull that out. Then you're going to want to just pull this thing up. So you don't want to slingshot it. I'm doing this with one hand, so. Okay, that's that. After that push clip, you're going to come to the actual fender. There's going to be two <coughs> bolts right here. One and two. It is a seven millimeter. And you're going to take those out. So you're going to pull off this uh, outer fender right here. All right, so now that the fender is loose, we're gonna slightly pry this it's out. So you gotta be gentle on it. So you do have like these little push clips right here. This one right here, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of in there. It's yellow right there. Those kind of break off, so you have to be careful. So we'll pull that off and move on to the next step. So now that the fender is out of the way, now we're gonna simply just pull this they're all held in by clips and it comes off just like that all right so the auto cut out but for the next step you're gonna have to release the bolts from that lower trim piece that holds in the actual headlight they consist of six 10 millimeter bolts and one eight millimeter bolt So 
also right here there's another push tab to come out that's inside and the other one just kind of work it way out there's also a push tab right inside here you're gonna squeeze those together and push this out just like so and this whole piece comes out right here all right so after you get that kind of loosened up there's three more bolts to go they are 10 millimeters let me see if i can show you this let it focus but right in here there's another 10 millimeter and get some light in there it's right there right in the middle so i point it to you again it's right there take that one out you're gonna take out one and two and this light should come right on out All right, so now that everything's loose, right? So now we're gonna, there's another clip inside here that needs to pop loose. Uh, that will come out just by pulling the light, putting some pressure on it and actually pulling this way away from the vehicle. All right, now that it's jarred open, I can take off the uh, light connectors. It's just a push clip right there. There's a clip right here. comes off push clip inside here holding that light move it out just a little bit push clip right here and your light comes right out this clip right here you actually have a clip right here and a clip right here you push these things down they should be able to come up All right, so now we're just gonna put the headlight right back into place, put in the three 10 millimeters to hold it into place, and then we'll do uh, the reinstall, just working our way backwards. We're gonna be putting in the connectors. Okay, so here's like a good suggestion. Before you start bolting things down, um, I just put in the uh, electrical connectors. So now I'm actually gonna run the lights through and make sure they actually work before I bolt it all down. Because if a light doesn't work, then that means you have to uninstall the headlight, fix the issue, and then reinstall it again. So we're just gonna run through the lights real quick. All the lights worked. The only issue I'm having right now are the DRL the daytime running lights. I don't know it's because my truck does not equip with daytime running lights. That's why they don't stay on, but when you actually turn on the actual uh, lights itself, the DRL will turn on. Um, that including, you know, your, your low beams. Um, that turns on, then my DRLs turn on. Um, you just have to take a closer look at that. Maybe it's just how it's supposed to be, or if I can change that, I possibly will, so I can actually have a true DRL setup but let's start buttoning up the headlight. Starting in reverse, you're gonna put these two 10 millimeters, button those down, and then you're gonna have one down in the middle, right behind the headlight. So now we're going to be putting in the uh, bottom piece right here. Um, I thought it was actually 
my personal experience is actually easier to put on the headlight first and then kind of push these clips back into the bottom right here and then we'll put the bolts back in so now this plate is on don't forget you gotta put in your eight millimeter and the rest of the six throughout the sides are the 10 millimeters Now that little trim piece, part of the headlight that attaches the headlight to pretty much the uh, side fender is in. We are gonna be putting on the front housing uh, headlight bezel. Slide this right in there. We're gonna have a whole bunch of clips. Doesn't take too much force to put this one back in. So just take your time, you don't wanna force anything. then put your push clip up here All right. put your push clip pop that in the two pig a two-piece push clip and you just pop it in like that and your bezel's in there so now all we have to do is push this back to place slide up all the holes this is pretty easy this yellow one right here it's another suggestion when you're using this one this is what is hard to come out this will actually this is very um likely to break as well as this white one at the bottom so just be careful when you're pulling out this uh, uh fender trim those like to break like when i pull this one off it is actually stuck in there but if you look at it you can actually slide this off so it's a lot easier just like this one it slides up but <clears throat> just a suggestion just make sure you guys are careful All right, for underneath to actually finish this project off. So we got the push clips that we took out and we got to uh, reinstall the uh, two seven millimeters that belong here. All right, so now that the fender trim is on, I am gonna go do the other side off camera, and then we'll come back and we'll do a overview on the entire completion of the project. All right, stay tuned. All right, YouTube. So I <clears throat> just finished the other side of the truck. It's a lot easier to do it when you're not on camera and not trying to do step by step. So it was actually fairly, fairly quick, especially because I did the other one. So <clears throat> after doing that one, I just repeated the steps and like I said, it was a lot easier just cause I'm not trying to film, stop, uh, make sure it's all right and whatnot. But I'm gonna turn you guys around. Again, another moment, I'm very pleased about how these, uh, how these lights came out. Very happy how the truck came out. I did turn the truck around just because the sun was beaming right into the camera. So you really couldn't see it too good. So like I said, these, these lights are, I don't see a lot of people rocking these lights for this truck or this model. I see a lot of people going with the uh, the Anzos or the Morimoto's. I know Anzos like five hundred to like six hundred dollars. I think the prices maybe dropped a little bit <clears throat> through the generation. I think they have Gen One, Gen Two, and then the Morimoto's came out, and Morimoto's are like fifteen hundred. I'm not gonna spend fifteen hundred on headlights. Um, if it was a show truck, yeah. But like I said, I like these lights. I don't see a lot of people using them or rocking them and I want to be you know different and it's really what <clears throat> what I fell in love with when I first saw them on uh, eBay and Amazon so I'm gonna just turn you guys around show you guys what it looks like probably have my son again turn the lights for you guys and yeah let's do a little quick review on it
all right guys so that was a preview of the headlights i hope you guys love the lights as much as i do i really love the way all the colors are well both the colors of the magnetic gray and the black are all tying in finally next on the list is probably gonna be the fog lights the sequential turn signal lights on the mirrors on the side mirrors and a led blacked out um third brake light all right if this video helped you guys out please smash that like button help me out even share the video across the social media and by all means if you are new hit that subscribe button it does help me a lot and like always stay calm stay safe stay blessed aloha